done with demonstrating the test to the patient, we will start the test. And the other point we need to pay attention to is where we test the sensation. So we will ask the patient to close their eyes and uh, we will move across the different segments. As we know, each segment of the spinal cord provides sensation to a specific area of the skin, that's the dermatome. And when doing Asia, for each dermatome, it's a, an area of the skin, we have a point within this area we call a key point, and usually we test those key points. So, what are the key points for um, Asia? I won't go over all of them, but I will just give an idea. Basically, uh, starting with C2, C1 doesn't have a dermatome. C2, we test it two centimeters behind the ear, so this area here, and I will have the patient close their eyes, and I will test them here, and ask them about whether they feel the sensation, do you feel it? And does this feel the same as this? Yeah. Okay, so this will be grade two. And now we move on to the other segment. Okay, I will just see if you can open your eyes if you wish. Okay. okay. Um, this was C2. Now C3 is in the middle of the supraclavicular fossa. C3. C4 is at the tip of the shoulder, at the tip of the acromioclavicular joint, C4. C5 is at the lateral um, epicondyle. And now we continue moving like this on the upper limb. So this is C4, C5, C6, 7, 8 are at the dorsum of the uh, proximal phalanx. C6 is at the thumb, C7 at the middle finger, C6, 7, C8 is at the little finger, and then C1 is at the medial epicondyle. So notice how we move from here, C3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, C1, C2 is at the axilla. For the other one, it's at the left clavicular line and we move to the front. We have a key landmark, C4 is at the level of the nipple, uh, C10 is at the level of the umbilicus, C12 is at the inguinal ligament. Remember, this is the skin, so usually the patient is wearing the hospital gown, and we can easily uh, do the test. Now for the lower limb, we start, so this was C12 at the middle of the inguinal ligament. Um, imagine a line now between this point here and the medial epicondyle, okay, this line. The half of it is L2, and the upper quarter is L1. So, L1 is here at the imaginary line, uh, at the upper quarter, uh, L1, L2 is at the half, L3 is at the uh, medial side of the knee, then L4 is at the uh, medial malleolus, L5 is at the metatarsopharyngeal joint of the uh, third uh, toe, S1 is at uh, lateral to the ankle. So again, if we look at the lower limb, we notice that we started from here, we move down this way, now we move here, we move to the lateral aspect, and then S2 is at the cuticle fossa behind the knee, S2, S3 is at the ischial tuberosity, and S4, 5 are just one centimeter lateral to the uh, anal sphincter. So we need to expose the uh, patient's uh, bottom and the strip uh, next to the anal sphincter.